In this session, we're going to take a look at a particular feature of the Media Library, and that's Photo Galleries. I'm going to start a new post, and I'll show you how galleries work. Right here in the Content area, I'm going to click Add Media, and you can see here there are a number of images, and in the top left is Create Gallery. And now I can choose images to put into the gallery. You can see as I select them, they keep a checkbox. The minus would remove it from the gallery. And in the bottom here, you can see what images I have selected. So now I'm going to click Create a new gallery. So now I have a gallery. And in here, I can drag and drop to reorder the images. Or I can click an X to remove an image from the gallery. And I can put captions in. I can optionally reverse the order, and then for each image I can choose what to link to. I can choose how many columns I want. I'm going to choose two so that it's nice and even. And then I could choose random order, which means I would get a different order each time the page was reloaded. If I had forgotten an image that I needed to add in, here on the left is an Add to Gallery. I could go grab some more images. But I'm going to leave it the way it is and insert Gallery. And there, right in my editor, you can see my gallery. The fact that you can see it is actually new with version 4.0. Previous to this, there was just a gray box that indicated that a gallery would go here. Now if we click the Text tab in our editor, you can see that this is actually just a short code with a collection of image IDs, and there's our link specification and how many columns. If I change this to three, go back to visual, there we are. But I like two. Now if I wanted to make a change to the gallery, I could go back and click the pencil, and I'm right back to here. And I can change any of these options that I wish and then update the gallery. The X would remove the gallery entirely. Let's hit publish and see how it looks. And there it is. One of them has a caption, and I told it to link to directly to the file, and so we're going to get a very large version of this image. Now there are a number of plugins that can extend the features of this gallery. They can add a light box, and so you can scroll through them. You could make a slideshow, etc. Galleries can be very attractive and engaging tools. If used properly, they can drive a great deal of traffic to your website. If not used properly, they can annoy people. So be careful how you use them.